welcome back to the X Lounge. Today we're going to take a look in the box of the 1965 Bonneville by AMT. It claims to be a 3-in-1 fastback. We're going to see what all parts are in there. This is kit number 1260-12. The full custom Bonneville. The greatest in customizing parts will be found in this kit. They include the ultimate in front end customizing, matching rear end custom parts, custom interior, custom engine parts, and many leading bolt on custom parts. Paint and glue required. There's all the stuff that's in the kit. However, you can see that at the store. This is a heavy, heavy box. I anticipated having a bunch of stuff in it. First up is the chrome tree gates on the bottom like to see it a little bit of sand a little bit of sand texture but it doesn't look to be in anywhere that's going to show got some interesting custom parts there So that's what your chrome tree is going to look like. Tires packaged separately. Two sets in here. Wide ones and looks like some stock ones. They are white walled. These are kind of low profile. And quite a bit smaller in diameter than the stock ones. Hmm. Next up is the body. Is it? Yeah. I always try to remember how these were in the box because they never seem to go back. In. So, yeah. And you're stuck with a bulgy box. Okay. Here we have the chassis. Uh, everything molded on here rear differential and axle molded on, exhaust molded in. Look at the size of that interior, great gonzo, what a boat. Pretty good detail there. So here's the body. Uh, there's some kind of a weird green residue on there. Bonneville, it's nicely printed. Got some texture down there. Got a, some kind of a logo going on there. Pretty fine casting. I don't see any problems with it. A little thick on that. Got a little close when they cut off this, cut it off the sprue. Dated 1995 under there. That's a long one. Oof. There's the glass, looking pretty good. No blemishes that I can see, all one piece. Uh, looks like some custom uh, headlight bezels there. There's the, there's the red glass, I was wondering where it was. Pair of axles. This is the bottom of the uh, of the engine. If you want to make a curbside, there's the hood. 
pair of seats that go all the way down. Here, I mean, down on the bottom. Uh, console included. Texture underneath of the hood with fish marks. There are some custom uh, grill, not grill, I don't know what you call that. The area that goes around the grill. Firewall with with wires molded on. At least that's flat. Those will be easy to remove if you're a person that likes to remove them. Like me. There are some engine parts. A loose header. Another bag of parts. This is another hood. Yeah. Yeah, that's another hood. And it's got cutaways for uh, some kind of a breather system. Hmm. I guess that's, uh, I don't know what that is. These are more custom parts. Convertible, convertible type stuff. Very, uh, very thin uh, steering wheel. That's pretty impressive how thin that is. Dashboard looks great. A little bit of flash here and there. Nothing to get excited about though. Uh, this looks like interior panels. Another console. Uh oh, that says Ertol. Tall. There's some bucket seats. Ooh, a piece of flash. What else is in here? Decals and the instructions. There are the decals. Lots of uh, lots of stripes going on there. A couple of uh, car names: Low UFO, High Flyer, Smooth Groove. Uh, not not any. Uh, just a couple sponsors there. STP and Krager. Got a couple of Skull and Crossbones uh, decals. That's interesting. Got some Michigan license plates and some dashboard stuff. Oh, and uh, how close can we get on that? Got some exterior trim work there. Not often you see that, really. Most of the time they leave you to the wolves. I don't know where this thing begins or ends. Uh, one engine. The Engine. Alright. Then the chassis. Yes, it's a chassis. The interior. Ah, uh, oh, that's got tonneau cover. There's the body assembly. They give you some color suggestions. And there's some exterior parts. This is where it gets into all the custom stuff. And it tells you where all the unique parts go. So there we have it, the 1965 Bonneville from AMT. I like the kit. It is certainly a long boat. Uh, it's interesting to put 
vehicles next to each other. Uh, you know, one of the one of the whole reasons I got into modeling, uh, as far as World War II stuff goes, was to see a, a, a three-dimensional uh, representation to help my imagination of what what things went on and what things looked like. And something that I didn't that I did get that I wasn't even bargained for was the size differences of stuff. And you think that. You think that a vehicle is a certain size in your imagination, and and then you see it next to something that you that you do know the size of, such as a person, and uh, kind of blows you away with how small stuff is, or in this case, how big stuff is. Good grief, that's a long vehicle. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like. Hit that notification button, and you'll be alerted when our next video comes out. Ah,